but the next one is <laughs> hold on i actually have to see it's correct nicknames i don't know which one it is give me a moment All right, next one is, the Easter Bunny is dead. <laughs> hey, 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 SCP-4033. <laughs> oh, my God. <laughs> Are we ready? Particular show the Easter Bunny dying on screen. <laughs> okay, bookworm. Bookworm, you want to hold a bet? If that does happen, I, I don't think it will happen. But if it does, I will gift a f one tier one sub. That's what I'll do. <laughs> do you want to accept the bet? <laughs> Sounds good. <laughs> Do you agree, vice versa? <laughs> and if I'm wrong, I'll give this some as well. <laughs> we just have a bad, like, how bad the content farm view is gonna be. <laughs> oh my god. Anyways. Item SCP-4033. Object class safe. SCP-4033 is currently held at site redacted in a padlock glass container. When handling the object, 0.5 centimeter rubber gloves are to be worn at all times. No more tests including SCP-4033 is to be conducted under the order, order from the site director. Now wait for it. Description, SCP-4033 is a Cadbury's cream egg that cannot be cracked, melted, eaten, or damaged in any other way. <laughs> if a subject touches 4033 through skin contact, the subject will hear a voice. No others have reported hearing the voice, hereby referred to as 4033-1. For 4033-1 has been reported to have a noticeable list and resembles a child's TV show mascot. When activated, Dash 1 will say, Hooray! You, you want to join in my Easter egg hunt? I see you found the first one already. So hurry on. Time is of the, is of the answer. A painted egg will, will then appear somewhere in a 10 meter radius of the subject, often found in simple hiding places, such as on a shelf or upon another object. If a subject collects this egg, then their egg, hereby referred to as instance of Dash 2, will appear under the same conditions of the first. If a subject other than, than the one that initiated the hunt touches an instance of, of Dash 2 or 4033 itself, it will burn their fingers, causing them to simply drop it. Dash 1 will then say, No, you're not part of this time. Put that down. There are 12 instances of Dash 2 in one hunt. Such as, subjects are allocated 10 minutes to collect all of these instances in order to win. When hunt is over, all collected instances of Dash 2 will spontaneously disappear. If the subject wins, Dash 1 will say, Yeah, yay, you found them all. That means you get the grand prize. And when subject will, will then fall unconscious, medical examination of these subjects reveals that their stomachs are enormously filled with a substance very similar to Cadbury's chocolate. While the winner, all of the winners have become severely ill and reported extreme pain, none have died. If the subject loses, Dash 1 will say, Oh no, you didn't get all the eggs. Well, don't worry, you get a runner-up prize. The subject will then undergo severe brain trauma and physical distress, while still remaining conscious. They will remain basic, they will retain basic motor functions and ability to vocalize, but will die approximately two minutes later. Autopsy revealed, have revealed they subjects have a data expunged in their brains. Only one full interview has been successfully carried out with Dash 1 following Incident Dash A. No more interviews are to be conducted. 
Yeah, but there we go. <laughs> Discovery. Local ancients situated in redacted. Redacted. I may lose this bet. <laughs> We're alerted to, alerted to three mortalities in redacted hospital. All dead were found to have expunged in their brains. 40, 4033 was found in the house of a local artist who, who was found in extreme distress. They were later found to have a substance resembling chocolate in their stomach. Agent Redacted touched 4033 and successfully completed the hunt. Foundation backup arrived on scene and retrieved the agents and 4033. Addendum 4033-A. Interviewed. Dash 1. Interviewer. D-89667. Notes. D-89667 was ordered to memorize a list of three questions to ask. Dash 1. Begin line. D-89667 picks up SCB-4033 with his bare hands. SCB-43-1. Hurry, hurry! You want to join my... In my Easter egg hunt, I see you found the first one already. Just hurry on, time is of the essence. D-89667. Alright, what's your name? Well, Mike, that's the end of what you know. You gotta find the eggs. No, I need to know. Seriously, what's your name? My name? Well, you already know. I'm the Easter Bunny. No, your real name. Like Bob or something. Easter Bunny. That is my real name, right? Yeah. Yeah. Okay, I'll come back to that. What is... What was the second question? Where are you? Where am I? Why? I'm right behind you. scp 4033s dash ones voice. It was noticeably gruff here. Its lips is gone. Hey, where the hell am I? Yeah, that's what I want to know. It... It, it was you. You did this to me. I know it. I don't know. I didn't do it. D-89667 begins to visibly panic. I know you did. No, no. I know what happens to fucking D-class like me. Don't kill me. You did it! No, I, I didn't. Don't do it, please. Get the eggs. That's what you do. You bastard. Okay, yes. Jesus. Why? I'm Easter. Hap, hap, hap. D-89667 says all instances of Dash 2 and subsequently falls unconscious. End log. Closing statement. D-89667 was later reprimanded for failure to carry out his orders. Most likely killed. <laughs> Incident 4033-A. Interviewed Dash 1. Interviewer D-89668. Notes. Shortly after initial interview, an attempt to further establish the origins of SCP-4033-1 and its physical state was made. D-89668 was ordered to memorize a list of three questions to ask it. Begin log. D-89668 picks up SCP-4033 with his bare hands. SCP-4033-1. No! D-89668. What is your name? No, I have no name. Just tell me your name. I know you have one. Please make this easy for me. You took it from me. You put me here. Well, no I didn't. But on that note, where are you? SCP-4033 does not respond for two minutes. Put me here and left me. What? What did you say? Put me and left? SCP-4033-1 does not respond for two minutes. Are you still here? SCP-4033-1 does not respond for further minute. Hello, SCP-43-1? SCP-4033-1 does not respond for two minutes. You want to know? The truth is, I don't know. I'm East Money. I got nowhere to have to. The hat to you don't the allocated the allocated 10 minutes to complete the hunt expires and d-89668 falls on to the floor in extreme distress agents watching over to test drag him away end log 
Closing statement, D-89668 died two minutes after an autopsy on him revealed that he had a expunged in his brain. Oh. Well, this got sad. So we don't know what it is in brain of those who failed to hunt. I think it's a carrot. <laughs> I love Dash One being so confused by your name question. <laughs> this got real sad. We have to rescue the Easter Bunny. All right. Let's see. Is it a clickbait thumbnail? Let's see. Yes, I don't see it. <laughs> Do I even have to say anything? <laughs> oh, gee, what the fuck? <laughs> <laughs> Do I even have to say anything? I had it fanny from FNAF. <laughs> also, is that poops on Easter Bunny? Yes, that's that's supposed to be Vanny from Finance of Freddy's Security Breach. If you know that character. I recognize the character. Oh. <laughs> so it's the, I do not. Yeah, it's not even Easter Bunny. It's, it's Vanny from Security Breach. Hold on. Alright, so hold on. Here's what I'm gonna do. Yes, I have... I have an SCP background as a wallpaper. Fanny FNAF. Images. See that? Very on brand. Yeah, you see? See, there's no differences. It's literally the character. Damn. Yeah. <laughs> All right. So I'm going to get rid of that. <laughs> we don't need that anymore. <laughs> I think we can soon as say it's a four for clickbait thumbnail. <laughs> what do you think, Bunny? <laughs> Gotta capitalize on Jordan's love for Nat. Yeah. Yeah, definitely. <laughs> okay. Let's see, did they fuck up the Creative Commons license again? Guy with a hat? Oh, that's actually a funny name. I like that. Yep, they actually did. They did it. Whoops, wrong one. Wait a minute. What? God damn it, they keep doing it. Okay, so they actually... They rewrote the license. Because if you look here, SCP-433 by a guy with a hat from the SCP wiki source. The link licensed under the CC by Y-CA. But if you go here, it's videos being derived from the link by a guy with a hat is released under the Creative Commons license, Creative Commons share like 3.0, which is this. You see, here's the thing. I don't know if this and this is the same Creative Commons license. So we got to do a bit of investigating.
Okay, so we do that. Do it this way, yes. Okay. Okay, and yep, it's the same thing. Okay. Why didn't you just... You could just copy and paste. You can copy and paste. <laughs> I don't even... <sighs> Are we ready? I, I finished my investigation work. Are we ready to deal with this bullshit? I didn't... I've never noticed they, they took the time to rewrite the license agreement. Pretty much ready to see the Easter Bunny. <laughs> All right. In three. Oh, Jerry! Hey, sorry. Yeah. All right. Uh, hold on. Let me get this for you. Since I just read the article. Wait a minute. Am I not streaming to Discord? You are not. God damn it, Discord. <laughs> I had, had screen share open. Yep, I got new, better internet. My previous internet, after like an hour of streaming, I have like maybe 3,000. Your previous internet sucked. Huh? Your previous internet sucked. Your previous internet sucked. Oh, yeah. Previous internet sucked. I, yeah. <laughs> my, my brain was rotting from the previous anomaly. Look, uh, uh, we did the perfect porcelain doll. It's a 12-year-old and they sexualized it. <laughs> and somehow did ableism. Oh. <laughs> I'm glad. I think you're glad you didn't see it. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, but um, the next one we're doing is a Cadbury cream egg. Basically, if you hold it, uh, something tells you to go collect the eggs. They they say they're the Easter Bunny, but they don't know their real name and stuff like that. Basically, what we've got so far. I I think I sent you the SCP. Yeah. Yes. Yes. Okay. But anyways, everyone ready to, to for this SCP? Oh yeah, by the way, Bookworm Me did a bet. Mainly because the nickname of this SCP is like the Easter Bunny is dead. And I said and, and I did a bet so I bet one gift, gifted sub that that it wouldn't have the Easter Bunny in the video, and Bookham says it would. <laughs> so we have a bit on this video. Alright, anyways, in three, two, one, let's go. Keep them back. Chen yelled out the order. The cordon had to be maintained. They didn't know what they were dealing with. On the floor lay the child, a semi-viscous black fluid oozing from her I... nose, mouth, and eyes. Outside the corn stood. Okay. Let's go back. Yeah. Because, alright, let's go back and reread. Because uh, you aren't here, but uh, Jerry. If a subject wins, dash SCP-4033-1 will say, Yay, yay. Yay, you found them on it. Easy, get the grand prize. The winning subject will then fall unconscious. Medical examination of these subjects reveals that their stomachs are anomalously filled with a substance very similar to Cadbury's chocolate. All the winners have become severely ill and reported extreme pain. None have died. Yeah, I've been reading the SCP. 
while uh, you were getting the video. That's why I was confused. Like, because I wasn't like all the way through yet, but there was nothing about black substance. Yeah. Also, if a subject loses, SV43-1 will say, Oh no, you didn't get the all the eggs. Oh, well, don't worry, you get the runner-up prize. The subject will then undergo severe brain trauma and physical distress while still remaining conscious. They will retain basic motor functions and the ability to vocalize, but will die approximately two minutes later. Autopsies, autopsies have revealed the subjects have a data expunged in their brains. None of these matches this! There's <laughs> only a stomach ache from eating chocolate. Yeah. <laughs> what the fuck? <laughs> We're only 19 seconds in. Stood another child clutching his hand, his fingers apparently having sustained third degree burns. Loss came up behind Chen. Oh. Yeah, I know what happened with that. Oh, what, they they weren't part of the hunt. Yeah, they weren't I, part of the hunt. Yeah. But I didn't think the the burn was that bad. Uh, hold on. Let me go back. Memories dash two. The hunt. If a subject other than hunt touches it itself, it will burn their fingers, causing them to instinctively drop it. It doesn't say like it will be like a severe burn. It'd probably be like yeah, you touching the. Yeah, people say the severity of the burn, making me think that it's less of a damaging burn and more of a heat that causes the kid to drop it. Yeah, like if you That's accidentally touch a hot dangerous. stove. Yeah. You touch a hot stove, you jerk, jerk back. Yeah, not that you get a horrible burn. Yeah. Wait a minute. Hold on. It also said it would be on the fingers. That's on the, the back of the palm of the hand. Yeah. Apparently having sustained third degree burns. Loss came up behind Chen. The robotic arm should be here any minute. You sure it's a chocolate egg? That's what the boy told us. He touched it, it burned his fingers, and it spoke to him. Yeah, but the girl didn't get burned. True. Why didn't draw the burn on the fingers? <laughs> They're just making this this rather mostly safe anomaly just aggressive as all hell. <laughs> Let's consider what we do know though. The egg is definitely anomalous. Agreed? Roger. So, let's pick it up, and then consider what else could be a potential hazard. Chen nodded his head in agreement. Okay, before we continue, also, all the people here would be unconscious and anesthetized. The yeah. Foundation wouldn't show themselves and still stand here catching the anomaly. They would be knocked unconscious, captured, or captured and anesthetized. Also, I want to comment if that the SCP Foundation wouldn't use something like Robots R Us to try to cover the SCP Foundation, because no offense, that would just get more attention. Do you know how many kids would run for Robots R Us? Yeah, they would probably just put like Kroger or Walmart on their truck. Yeah! <laughs> that would have people disinterested, not Robots R Us. Are you fucking kidding me? Around kids? Yeah, also with the robot, it, also with taking it, Discovery, agents were picked it up. Agent touched SCB-4033 and successfully completed a hunt. Foundation pack arrived on scene and retrieved the agents in 4033. Yeah, so adults can play the game. It's just one person at a time does the hunt. Yeah. It, it doesn't matter about age. Yep. As well as, they didn't use a fucking robot to pick it up. <laughs> the robotic arm rolled in off Wait. the back of the SCP <laughs> armored trans- They got a big fucking truck for these little teeny robots. <laughs> Are you okay, bookworm? <laughs> I think the tiny robots killed him a little. 
Did they get YouTube right? The tiny robots with their tiny hands. Yep, chest. <laughs> so yeah. tiny. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. They maneuvered it into position, lifting the chocolate egg carefully. Us. The arm. I'm pretty sure Cadbury cream egg doesn't look like that. No, they do not. It's supposed to look like a Cadbury cream egg. Yeah. I myself do not like Cadbury cream eggs, but I do love Cadbury chocolate as a whole. Yeah. It's Did actually you... my, one of my favorite chocolates. Yeah. Did you know they were banned in America at one point? That does not surprise me. It's because of the toys that are inside. People would just eat them and choke That's on the not toy. Cadbury. That's a different. Oh, that's different. that was a different egg thing. I got them confused. My bad. That that's not even made in the same country as Cadbury is. I got the eggs confused. <laughs> that's not Cadbury. <laughs> Oh well. Kinder. Kinder, Kinder eggs, yeah. They got banned because of the toys that are inside the egg. Let me look up the origin of the country origin of Kinder egg. How many countries were you gone? <laughs> Not gone. But how, how many countries off were you? <laughs> <laughs> it's a they have they have come back the toy just can't be in the chocolate yeah it was a safety hazard some countries you can't have them in the chocolate oh it's italian it's a t tender is italian oh i i did not expect that so you confused a British company with an Italian company. <laughs> like a true American. <laughs> Alright, ready to continue with the anomaly? We're only a minute in. <laughs> to be fair, Kinder also makes very good chocolate. Yeah. Like Pepper. Brought it back. Right to a glass containment cube and gently set it down inside before using its arm to close the lid. And that's that. Take the body of the girl back I, I with us. Uh, the boy appears. Very... Probably one of the easiest things in the world to draw is an egg. Yeah. That didn't look like an egg. <laughs> I'm trying not to judge them. Wait, Bye. doesn't this agent in the bank look similar to this agent over here? Did they just trace the original and make him slightly different? <laughs> they have different faces, different eyes, different hair. They actually have slightly different skin tones. Yeah. Why is that guy paler? You know, it, it doesn't matter. <laughs> At least he has skin tone. <laughs> His body's translucent. You can see everything. <laughs> He's a vampire. This is book. Maybe. Appears to be fine, but we're not taking any chances. Take him back as well. Isolate and observe. Welcome back. Today Wait, why is this? <laughs> he creates the spice of the egg. I still say. It isn't wrong like an egg. If you look at the shadows and the highlights, it wouldn't be shaped like an egg. Yeah. No, he no guys. Oh my god. Oh my god. P4033. The Easter Bunny is dead. Don't forget to like, subscribe, and turn on the note. the easiest fucking things to draw. <laughs> or the easiest things to shade. They both overcomplicated it and still fucked it up. I saw a small nitpick, but it looks bigger than I thought it would be. Yeah, that's what I said too. Technically, an East 
Easter egg can be as big as it wants to be, but I do not think that SCP would be that size because yeah. it's supposed to look like a Cadbury a, cream egg. Yeah, and a cat. I do not think Cadbury cream eggs can get that big. Let me look. Yeah, I think they're they're not that much bigger than your palm of your hand. <laughs> Don't die. Har, har, har. <laughs> yeah, but... Oh, yeah. One thing I forgot to say about... Oh, oh sorry. You found, a, you found a measurement? Not a measurement, but a photograph of different sized Cadbury eggs. That tells me, while they do come in different sizes, none of them are bigger than the palm of your hand. I knew it! They can't get bigger in the palm of your hand. I knew it. Fucking knew it. <laughs> Fuck yeah. <laughs> also, I forgot to tell you, uh, you guys, usually with my internet, my previous one, I would have dropped frames, which is not good. And like, after the first hour, I have like 4,000 to 5,000 drop frames, which is not good at all. You wanna know how many drop frames I got now? After an how hour? Four hundred and eleven. Ooh, I found an Easter egg size chart. Oh nice. <laughs> oh my god. I yeah. It's oh, oh nice. Yeah, it is a dramatic drop. Yeah. I love I yeah, I love my new internet glow fiber. I mean, this doesn't look like Cadbury specifically, but... Yeah. You notice none of those look that big. They don't even go into larger sizes. Oh, yeah. That's true. And book, hold on, Bookworm, I'll do something good for you, uh, nice for you. Give me one moment. There you go, book. You got the picture. But I want to say if they wanted to go with a large egg, they should have gone with Kinder. Yeah. <laughs> Cause I, I believe Kinder eggs can get pretty big. Oh, wow. <laughs> Anyways, we ready to continue? In a second, but just so you see. One quick example of how much bigger Kinder eggs can get. Uh, I'll, I'll give it the bookman too. There we go. <laughs> so basically, instead of drawing a fucking Cadbury cream egg, they went for Kinder. <laughs> well, yeah. <laughs> Except Kinder is better. <laughs> oh, jeez, paste the kid's face. <laughs> yeah. To be more bookworm, don't you want to be that kid with that much chocolate? Yeah. chocolate yeah also i've heard like some people say they can't handle more than two cadbury cream eggs because how sugary sweet it is and weirdly enough cadbury's chocolate when not full of that weird sugar cream substance isn't actually all that sugary so i don't know why they do that with the filling <laughs> yeah yeah and there's so literally, like... if you buy cadbury chocolate melt it into an egg shape and either don't give it a filling or give it a different filling and it won't have nearly as much sugar. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, there's a toy inside. Yeah. Anyways, we're ready to continue. We, we haven't left the minute mark. I'm sorry. You're fine. No, it's it's good information. The egg not shaped like an egg. Let's, let's go. Yeah. <laughs> Bell. 
Come join my Discord too. Choose your champion. Oh, God damn it. <laughs> no advertisement. Nope. We don't allow advertisements in this <laughs> place. Yeah, that's actually one thing. Like, I've actually been getting the emails. Oh, God damn it. My camera's not working. Oh, God. No. No. Okay, there it goes. My camera glitched. <laughs> oh, gee, why? What yeah. You Anyways, um, even though I get emails about uh people win willing to do ads and stuff, like do raid Shadow Legends and stuff like that. Of course, she's doing an ad for raid. Yeah, it's mainly because when they come to me, they want to tell me you you do this, do this, do this, do this, do this. They don't give me any creative liberty. No creative liberty for the ad that they want me to produce. Yeah, I don't trust a lot of ads, especially when uh, you find out about people actually reviewing these things or you actually touch these things, and it's nothing like the advertisement in any yeah. way. Oh, yeah, no. Look, Grim, I, I will literally tell you this. There's another person that I know who, who was a streamer as well. They they are going to get paid um, three grand for an ad. I don't want to get paid 800. And I actually, more, I was actually more popular than them at the time when they asked to do a raid. I do an ad and stuff. I, I denied it. Yeah, no, Ray, Ray's a piece of shit. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, I, I, that's why I never did any ads or anything like that. It's because I want to have my own creative liberty with the ad. That's all. Anyways. Chen walked into Klaus's lap. He was standing over the little girl's body, a perplexed look on his face. Let me guess, a highly corrosive gel causes immediate brain death and parasitizes the body. The victim will reawaken 24 hours later under the control of an invading force of insects. What? How did you know that? What? I got it right? What? Of course not. It's chocolate. Chocolate? A food product made from roasting cacao pods. I know what, what? chocolate is. So why did you say chocolate? I mean, is that chocolate? Of course it is. I just told you it was. I thought you said you knew what chocolate is. Are you serious right now? Or are you just trying to piss me off? Hmm, <laughs> bit of both. Uh, anyway, take a look at this. Klaus passed him a scan of the little girl's head. Covering almost the entire brain mass was a blurry, liquid type substance did you see that chocolate her entire head's filled with it okay so she's a failed one but we don't know what kills a person's brain it's yeah, that expunged we have to assume it's not chocolate yeah and it talks about it differently <laughs> than it does the chocolate booker made a joke saying it'd be a, a carrot because the character acts like the easter bunny Oh. <laughs> but, well, it could be a carrot, but it could also be jelly beans. That too, yeah. It could be other jelly stuff. Jelly beans are another common Easter treat. Yep. It would be like, well, you didn't win the chocolate, but you did get jelly beans. But jelly beans are not uh, pro-brain. <laughs> yeah. that shit, yeah. I don't know. Ouch. So that's what's coming out of her nose and clearly what killed her. Correct. The chocolate egg is clearly a trigger, but why or how the boy might be able to assist us with. The boy sat in the containment chamber, his hand bandaged from the burn he sustained earlier. How are you feeling? Oh my god. I'm fine, sir. When can I go home? Soon, I think. Uh, can we ask you about your hand? I guess. How did it happen? Well, Jane found this chocolate egg under the couch. As soon as she touched it, it, it began to speak. 
it told her she joined the hunt. <laughs> An Easter egg hunt. Could you hear the egg too? No. <laughs> well, not yet. Uh, I picked it up after her, and that's when it burned me. It told me I wasn't a part of this hunt and to put it down. I see. Continue. Jane helped me with my hand, and I guess it took too long because she couldn't find all the eggs in time. Uh, then oh my she God. screamed and, and fell to the floor. And that's when the stuff started coming out of her nose? Yeah. Thank you. Rest up now, son. We'll send you home as soon as we can. What's the next step, Chief? We've examined the egg, but what we can't see inside? anything besides what we already know. I don't know. Let's see. Jesus fuck, they find every excuse they can to add something as to sexualize a woman, even when it has nothing to do with women. Yeah. <laughs> there be no screaming. Losers just die. <laughs> yeah. See if Pythia can give us anything. Aren't you God damn it. a little old for an Easter egg hunt? Says the lady with Tweety Bird on her shoulder. Pythia, this chocolate egg has <laughs> killed one child and burnt another. It also has the ability to talk to them and put them on the hunt. Very interesting. Well, bring it here and let's have a look then. The robotic arm brought the egg towards Pythia. Oh my god. Appeared in the air. What was that? Did you feel that? There now, is another. What do you see? Hmm. I'm not sure. <laughs> bring it forth. Did you she reached her hand towards the egg. What? In some clips, that egg is bigger than the hand. Now look at it. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> They just keep changing the size of the egg. Wait, no! Something's wrong! What is it? They were in a forest. The light streamed what the, the trees. Pythia, what's going on? Where are we? I... I'm not sure. This doesn't feel right. What do you mean? It's... It's not a memory. This... Feels like... No. But where? I... Well, hello there! They spun around. A large rabbit stood before them. What the... Greetings and welcome to the forest! Are you here for the hunt? Well, I own book for myself. No. <laughs> Who are you? Isn't that obvious, young man? Well, I'm the Easter Bunny, of course! No, seriously. Your real name. Like Bob yes. or Gustav. Easter Bunny! That... Real name. Actually, Never mind that for now. Missed, Where right? are we? No, they I haven't died yet. Oh, yeah. And your forest is where? It's... it's... where is it? That's what I just asked you! It... it was you! You did this to me! What? No! What are you talking about? What the fuck is it's happening? You. It's your fault! I know it! Her face and features began to change and contort. Oh my it god. the same bunny from a moment before. And this is Vanny from FNAF. <laughs> with antlers. I'm the... Easter... <laughs> Chen and Kloss looked at each other. What was going on? Whatever it was, it wasn't good. I think it's time we get out of here. Pythia? I'm working on it. Give me a minute. I don't think we have a minute. This thing is like Vanny from Five Nights at Freddy's. God damn it, they even mentioned it. Did they not have an original bone in their body? No, they did not. Because <laughs> 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 the Easter Bunny was Vanny. Yeah. This man needs to stop. <laughs> I think, I think Bookworm's also being harmed by these videos like you and me, Jerry. <laughs> we don't. Yeah. As a furry, I'm unsure how I feel about this. <laughs> it's a badly designed furry. Because yeah. look at the 
Mm hmm. What's with the feet? Yeah, that that wouldn't. That wouldn't support anything. Yeah. It was melted. Melted. <laughs> So they sexualized the anomaly somehow. I <laughs> can't believe they did it. Yes, they <laughs> found a way to sexualize the Easter Bunny. <laughs> and melt their feet. Well, actually, we don't know if it's the Easter Bunny, because it did state it doesn't know its own name. It just claims yeah. it's the Easter Bunny. It's probably as close as we're getting. Either way... <laughs> It may or may not know if it is or isn't the Easter Bunny. We may or may not know if it is or isn't the Easter Bunny. I'm calling it the Easter Bunny, and they sexualized it. Yeah. It sexualized Easter Bunny, who never appeared. <laughs> no, I want to say we don't actually know the Easter Bunny's gender that I know of. Yeah. And so they gendered the Easter Bunny, and they sexualized it. Yeah. <laughs> we don't know if it has boobs. We don't know if it doesn't. It could what have. To assume? It can have three penises, for all we know. <laughs> don't say that. I mean, it's true, but don't say that. <laughs> anyway. Don't want to stick around for that. You and now it has claws. For this, for me. Do bunnies actually have claws? Well, yes, bunnies have claws as it helps with digging. Bad, but, oh, that's right. Yes, they're burrowing creatures, but their claws are different than wolf claws. They wouldn't be shaped like this. Yeah. But they did a cartoon would thing you where. Do think those oh. claws look like the kind of claws you'd have for digging? No. Yeah. But they did Even the cartoon. Those claws are, are terrifying. Oh, yeah. Really it. yeah. Oh, yeah. And that's true. But, but they did a cartoon thing where woman animal equals boobs. <laughs> Not all furry women have boobs, they're just so bad at drawing. But they need to add boobs so you know it's a woman. If you notice, the boobs aren't even the same size on both sides. And it's also lopsided. Look, this one's lifted, this That's one's what I was down. Saying. Yeah. Technically, they're only lopsided because they're different sizes. Wait a minute. No, look at the neck. The neck is. The head is off. Like, there's more. There's less head over here and more head over here. The head got pushed over. <laughs> Well, they did that on purpose. But I'm saying, if you look at the boobs, they're literally put in the same spot. The only reason they edge differently is because one's a different size. Yeah. It started to approach them. Here. Ten and Cloth looked back. Pythia had created a vortex. As they ran towards it, they could hear the rabbit calling after them. Yeah. They awoke in the floor of Pythia's room. The rabbit. Nowhere in sight. Pythia, Chen, are you both okay? Fine, Doc. Yes, I'm unhurt. What the hell was that thing? I'm not entirely sure, but but you know how you have Santa. Yeah. And on the opposite side, you have Krampus. Right. Well, maybe this is whatever that was. The jackalope. Behind Kloss. Of what? That was never mentioned! Where the fuck did they get the jackalope? <laughs> he heard someone bend down. It was a D-class. In her hand, the Easter egg. A voice drifted in. You want to join in my Easter egg hunt? I see you found the first one already! So hurry on! Time is of the essence! SCP-4033 is a Cadbury's cream egg that cannot be cracked, melted, eaten, or damaged and I had to read in the article. way. If a subject touches SCP-4033 through skin contact, the subject will hear a voice. 
No others I don't have know. reported hearing the voice. Hereby referred Wait. Hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. This the one the blue the spots is one they've been drawing as the anomaly. Now it's green with neon stripes. No others have reported hearing the voice, hereby referred to as SCP-4033-1. SCP-4033-1 oh has been reported to have a noticeable lisp and resembles a child. They're doing this in front of children in this video. Yeah, no consistency. Child's TV show mascot. When activated, SCP-4033-1 will say, Hooray! You want to join in my Easter egg hunt. I see you found the first one already, so hurry on. Time is of the essence. A painted egg will then appear somewhere in a 10 meter radius of the subject, often found in simple hiding places, such as on a shelf or behind another object. If a subject collects this egg, another egg, hereby referred to as instances of SCP-4033-2, will appear under the same conditions of the first. If a subject other than the one that initiated the hunt touches an instance of SCP-4033-2 or SCP-4033 itself, it will burn their fingers, causing them to instinctively and it's drop a palm. it. SCP-4033-1 will then say, No, you're not part of this hunt. Put that down. There are 12 instances of SCP-4033-2 in one hunt, and subjects are allocated 10 minutes to collect all of these instances in order to win. When the hunt is over, all collected instances of SCP-4033-2 will spontaneously disappear. If the subject wins, SCP-4033-1 will say, you? Yay, 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 you found them all. That means you get the grand prize. The winning subject will then fall unconscious. Medical examination of these subjects reveals that their stomachs are anomalously filled with a substance very similar well, to Cadbury's chocolate. Why them bleed chocolate? I don't know, but also the stomach wouldn't be that big. Because if you if the stomach was that big, you would die. Yeah. It doesn't kill you if you win. It does not. I mean, it will be painful, but it doesn't kill you. Yeah. <laughs> While all winners have become severely ill and reported extreme pain, none have died. If the subject loses, SCP-4033-1 will say, Oh no, you didn't get all the eggs. Oh well, don't worry. You get the runner-up prize. The subject will then undergo oh severe my God. brain trauma and physical distress while still remaining conscious. They will retain basic motor functions and the ability to vocalize, but will die approximately two minutes oh later. That sounds wrong, but why? That sounds wrong. That sounds wrong. In their brains. SCP-4033 is currently held at site in a padlock glass container. When handling the object, half centimeter thick rubber gloves are to be worn at all times. No direct contact with SCP-4033 is permitted unless conducting a test. No more tests, including SCP-4033, are to be conducted under order from the site director. Santa Claus, the Easter Bunny! Okay, so that's pretty much the end of the thing. Here's the problem I have right now. Hold on, let me get back. Show. None of these would be this close together. They would be separated. Well, that and they would be in their own containment. I don't count this as their own containment. It's being moved around like their shells. Yes, plus this SCP can't be captured. Nor can this one. So yeah, basically that's the end of the video. Removal of character slash license. Oh yeah, Jerry, you missed it. Uh, on 706, the previous one, they added a person that wasn't even helping writing the article. They just added someone else to the license. Well, I, I think it deserves a four because they literally stole Vanny. That too. Plus, hold on, let's actually go back, see if any characters are gone. Um, oh, D-89667. And D-89668. Yes, they did remove both D class. One survived, one did not. Yep. Yeah, just two D class. So basically, 
They removed all the characters, too. You think about it. All of them removed. <laughs> Added gore or violence? <laughs> what are you playing for? <laughs> yeah. Like, how? T-Class removed for their so OCs. <laughs> Deviates from the plot of the article. Yeah, that's, a, that's, that's basically a four, isn't it? Well, okay, so... They cut out the two interviews yeah. that the class did. And Discovery. An Easter egg hunt. Yeah, they and changed they Discovery. Because yeah. the egg was found in a hospital, not a house. Oh, wait, no, it was found in a house of a local artist. Never mind. Oh, yeah, it was. Oh, yeah, they got rid of the local artist, too. Well, to be fair, we don't know the name or gender of the local artist. Yeah, and also the agent that touched the, the anomaly. Well, they had to cut that person out. Otherwise, they wouldn't have added the tiny robot. <laughs> so the entirety of Discovery was destroyed. The only thing they read was the Katima procedures and description. You know what? Why don't we put four? Yeah. Wait a minute. In the video, they showed the eggs all close together, right? In one room. But each... But they can appear in a 10 meter radius. Yeah. They wouldn't... They wouldn't always appear so close together. It would be spread out. That would be fucking hard to find. Yeah. <laughs> 10 meters is not a small... Man. Which is... Which is kind of impressive. The... Dash 89667 found them all. Yeah. He <laughs> would not be like the agent. Actually, how the fuck did the local artist do it? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> <laughs> My guy has a case of American brain. Meters scare him. <laughs> yeah. Also, this is the first time I've seen meter spelled M-E-T-R-E. -E. Let me look that up to make sure it's not a different variant. It's, well, it's oh, metre is different than meter. Oh, it isn't? It is? Metre? Let me find out... Oh. I Metra is a different variant of meter. Oh, so it's... it's. Man, let me look up Metra versus meter and then it tells me it's the same fucking thing. Hey. <laughs> so yeah, it, they destroy the article. Yeah. Alright. Uh, only men in a video slash offensiveness. Considering how many characters were in the article originally and how many didn't have a known gender, I feel like that calls for four, weirdly. They usually don't do this, but... You know, they did it. I don't Us? know what else to say. I was also going to say with the over-sexualization <laughs> would be offensive. Yeah, they, added, they sexualized the Easter Bunny! <laughs> and also, one other thing in here. If we go down here. Not once was it mentioned anything about um, uh, Scott Cawthon and their rights to Finance of Freddy's. Not once mentioned in the description. Uh, I just realized something. Why? This, okay, this is gonna be a zero, you. isn't it? Fire Red Emblem has gifted one subs to viewers. Look, Quinn, why did you sub? You were on the bet that you would... You won the bet. I had to sub. <laughs> 
What? She's got a suggested a funniest thing right now. Yeah. No, the East Bunny didn't die. Oh, yeah. Did you bet that the East Bunny would die? Uh. So does that mean I won the bet? I, I, I'm confused. Oh, I did. Oh, okay. <laughs> Thanks for confirming. I confused myself. <laughs> At the number, let's continue. That means you got a zero. Yeah. That's what I thought. <laughs> it wasn't even a hard anomaly. All right. At least they got a 5% on the last one you did. 5%, 5%, 0%. <laughs> 